I'm Cheryl. I'm Brittany. And now it's time for CHS Today. On May 11th, CHS is having a job fair sponsored by the Local Economic Development Group and Eastern Indiana Works. Local employers are visiting to provide presentations for juniors and seniors. This event will be held all day in the field house during ELA classes. Take advantage of this special opportunity. The French Honor Society service hours are due on May 10th. Make sure you submit them on time. There will be a very important junior council meeting today in Ms. Duggan's classroom during SRE. The meeting will be to discuss prom and homecoming theme for this and next year. All juniors are welcome to attend. Summer school registration is now open. Traditional summer school courses are free to students and take place June 6th to July 1st. You need to sign up before May 24th for tradi traditional classes and can only sign up for one class. You can sign up for two online classes and the deadline is June 3rd for free as well. If you have any questions, please see your counselor. Last night, the academic teams traveled to Richmond for their regional meet. The math, fine arts, social studies, and interdisciplinary teams placed second, and the English and science teams got third place in the class two category. Congratulations. To, to see everyone for a great season and stay tuned for the official scores for state qualifiers. Prom guest forms are available in the office. If you are taking a guest from another school, you must have this form completed. Forms must be completed and returned no later than May 5th. Prom court self-nomination forms are available in the office. They are due to Ms. Phelps in Waterloo 177 or Ms. House in Orange 107 no later than April 27th at 340. Voting for prom court will take place on April 28th and until noon on the 29th through the senior Google Classroom page. The announcement of the court will be made at the end of the school day on April 29th. Prom tickets will go on sale in the bookstore beginning April 25th. Tickets may be purchased through May 6th at 340. Tickets will be $15 per person. On this day in history in 1902, scientists Marie and Pierre Curie successfully isolated radioactive radium salts from the mineral pitch blend. This discovery was shortly made after the discovery of the said radioactive elements of radium and polonium. These stepping stones were necessary for the further development of the cleaner nuclear energy in the years to come. Lunch for tomorrow will be jumbo crispy chicken tenders with whole grain Texas toast, peppered gravy biscuit, and baked crinkle cut fries. Other options include a spicier crispy chicken sandwich or a classic American cheeseburger with oven baked curly fries. Is it going to be nice out today, Caleb? Yes, it is going to be nice out today. <laughs> Look at the weather for today. At 5 p.m., the weather is going to be cloudy with high in 60 degrees. Going to tonight, it's going to be cloudy still. The temperatures are going to drop a little bit to 57 degrees. And moving to tomorrow morning, it's going to be 56 degrees with a 60% hit of rain. Look into the rest of the week. Thursday is going to be high in the low 70s and low in the low 50s with a 60% chance of rain. Moving into Friday, the high is going to be in the low mid 70s and the low in the low 50s with a 50% chance of rain. The moving into Saturday, the weather is going to warm up. Let's go. The highs are going to be in the low 80s and lows in the high 50s. That's all for the weather. Now back to the desk. Now over to Madeline with the sports. Thanks, guys. For the first time in school history, the Lady Spartan varsity softball team beat the 12th ranked Shelbyville Golden Bears last night. McKenna Lucas led the ladies to a 9 4 victory. Lucas drove in five runners on two hits. Lucas drove in runs with a single in the second and a grand slam in the third. There were five RBIs on the night. The ladies will next be in action tomorrow for a conference game against Batesville starting at 5.30. The boys track and field team competed in a four-way meet Tuesday night, defeating Indy Genesis, Newcastle, and Greensburg. Winners for the night were the team of Baker Steele, Isaacs, and Barron for the 800, Parker Sweet in the 110 and 300 hurdles, Austin Winter in the mile, the team of Buchanan, DeBoard, and Hornsby in the 100, Carter DeBoard in long jump, Micah Buchanan in the 200, Brandon Jones in pole ball, and the team of Baron Isaacs and Peterson in the 400. The team will next be in action on Thursday at the Bill Self Invitational. The girls track and field team finished second place in a four-way against Indy Genesis, Newcastle, and Greensburg. Winners of the night were Brooke Sutoff setting a new school pole vault record with 10 feet and 4 inches. The team of Sealy, Frank, Sutoff, and Strong took first place in the 100 
Caitlin Seeley won the 400. Kira McKinney and Michaela Strong tied for the win in the high jump. The girls will next be in action on Thursday at the Bill Self Invitational. The baseball team traveled to Union County, County last night and came away with a 10 to one victory. The Spartans got things started with a double from Chance Bentley, which scored one run in the top of the first. They continued hitting the ball while scoring four runs in the third inning. Braxton Myers led the team at the plate going four for four and driving in a run. The Spartans are next in action tomorrow at home versus East Central. There will be a meeting in the lecture hall for anyone in wrestling with the new wrestling coach at 3.40 today. Sports section for tonight is girls JV softball at Newcastle starting at five. Sports action for tomorrow is girls varsity tennis at Cambridge starting at five. Boys JV baseball at East Central at 5.30. Boys Varsity Golf at home at 5.30. Boys Varsity Baseball at home versus East Central at 6. Track and Field at HT Bell Self Invitational in Franklin and Girls Varsity Softball at home versus Batesville at 5.30. That's all for sports. Now back to the desk for birthdays. Birthdays for today are Owen Baker, Malaysia Cooper, Quinlan Dye, Michael Harper, and Lillian Ward. Birthdays for tomorrow are Michael Buchanan, Jameson Garrett, Andrew Isaac, Jordan McQueen, Isaiah Rains, and Aaliyah Williams. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. I'm a moose. She's a moose. And that's all for CHS Today.